Hello. Today I would like to talk about something happier than some of the other topics I talk about. And this is improv. Uh, I've had a history of improv uh, in high school and I loved it. And after high school I kind of let it slide. And uh, I think it's going to be two years ago I started taking classes with Atlas Improv. And I felt the me, I felt the shy me, the reserved me drifting away as getting into, into, into characters and sketch comedy and doing the yes and. Someone gives you an uh, opening and you take that opening and go from there. Um, the games were incredible. Uh, they are recently moving from the Electric Earth Cafe, which is a, a, a shame uh, because that's where I performed twice and I, I, I enjoyed the space. But I'm sure that Atlas will bounce back and find another, another stage and hopefully I'll uh, be there with them performing again. I, I, remember, uh, I remember one time having to play my dad in uh, Day in the Life sketch, and that was, I was either going to have to play my dad or my best friend, and uh, it's kind of something edible in that. And uh, Growing Shrinking, which is one of my favorite scenes, where, where you have one person, and then another person joins, and then another person joins, and it's three different scenes as when a, a person joins, and then the person leaves, you go back to that second scene, sometimes past, and then when that person leaves, you go back to the first scene past. And I like mine. My first scene was a guy so nervous, wanting to uh, propose to his wife, and having eggs Benedict, and, and, and having the ring, uh, ring in the flute of champagne, very, very passionate. And then when it came back, he was thinking about how best to give the divorce papers. And the laughter in the crowd was, uh, was addictive. And so I'm hoping to get back into the improv game. And good luck, Atlas. And I hope you find a new home soon.